New at 7, a Boca Raton teenager is still recovering after a fateful encounter with sharks in the Bahamas. A fun family trip for the 4th of July took a turn they just didn't see coming. We want to warn you, the images you're about to see are graphic. You can smell the salt in the air. Sophia Scroggy is enjoying her last few days out in Lake Boca with her father Arturo before heading back to college. The scars on her right hand a permanent reminder of just how dangerous the ocean can be. Shark bite, minutes after Sophia and her little sister Olivia jumped in the water to spear a hogfish. Helped her grab it up and helped her bring it to the surface. And at that point, um, my head was out of the water. I was holding the fish up. Just the next thing I remember was seeing um, a bull shark jumping out at my face and just being thrown into kind of an adrenaline panic of, oh gosh, there is sharks and I can see they're splashing. My little sister's right next to me. I can see splashing near her. And then I can see there's start, blood start pooling in the water. And I just remember kicking and just trying to just keep seeing the sharks lunge at me. What started out like so many other family adventures in the Bahamas, turned into a terrifying struggle. Punching it, my first instinct, because it was high up. I couldn't kick it, really. And my dad always told us to punch the nose. So that's what I aimed for. And it scared them off. I remember another shark charging me again. I must have been following Sophia because of the blood. Buying Sophia and Olivia time to get back on the boat. I remember screaming on the boat, someone help me, please help me get in the boat. And I remember my older sister grabbed me by my um, shoulders and just lunged me into the boat. Sophia's older sister, Nicole, has Sophia's hand wrapped in towels in an attempt to stop the bleeding as they race to the nearest Bahamian clinic an hour and a half away. Then you start thinking, oh my gosh, is she gonna be okay? You know, it's her right hand, you know, and you, you just start racing with all kind of the worst. Fixing Sophia's hand was going to require more than just a couple stitches. And they found that I had five tendons that were cut. Sophia would need two surgeries to repair the damage. If I had waited, you know, a split second longer, and my hand could have been gone. An x-ray of her hand showed there is a silver lining. Got a little piece of me, but I got a little piece of him too. <laughs> this fragment of a shark tooth, now a keepsake of a weekend that will be impossible to forget. Well, Sophia is still recovering. She will continue with physical therapy, we're told, until she's able to regain full use of her right hand, which is currently still in that special brace that you got to see right there. And you know, honey, we always talk about as an avid diver and going out with so many fishermen, we're in their environment there. Does Sophia plan to go back in the water? She does, and that's what I find so admirable about both of them. The little one, Olivia, 16 years old, she got back in the water the next day to spearfish. They've been doing this with their dad since they could swim. And, you know, the, the dad, Arturo, has been spearfishing for 40 years. So they, they definitely understand that part of it, but they are so incredibly brave. And, yes, she does plan to get back in the water. All right, great story, honey. Thank you.